Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to today's video. In the last video, I thought it was the end of the series. I thought we had come to the end of the game, but lo and behold, there is an episode four and I am ready to get into it. We, we, we left that last game on something pretty crazy and we found out that two people that Jonathan really likes are dating each other. Anyways, enough said. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the last episode. But we're going to jump right into this one. And uh, that's it. Let's go. All right, that's right. I knocked on Sage's door. I knocked on Sage's door because apparently, I guess I'm not living with Maya anymore. So let's find out exactly what happened. I hope we get to, actually. Let's see. I'm not fully awake yet. What happened? Uh, look, if you expect me to let you stay in our sorority, you need to tell me what's up. Why did you come here? I didn't know where else to go. You were the first one who came to mind. Okay, that doesn't explain anything. Why are you sad? I... I feel betrayed. Betrayed? By who? My roommate, Maya. Well, my former roommate, I should say. I can't tell you any details. I promised. Oh, keep it vague, then. You gotta give me something. She lied to me, or kept something from me. And I just can't stay with her anymore. Besides, me staying there with her wasn't really legal in the first place. I got into a fight with my first roommate and ended up staying at her place. She got a new roommate now, so I need a place to stay. What about the dicks? Can't they cut you some slack? I mean, you're a maggot. You're gonna be a dick in like a week, right? I've tried that before. It's not gonna work. Okay, so... Uh... Get comfortable. I'm going to find a mattress for you. <sighs> Can't believe what happened back there. That's right. Look at this. Look at these two. I was dating one in the beginning of the game. And then I started liking Maya once I got to college. And they are dating each other. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Girlfriend? Maya? Don't worry, this is Jonathan. We're close. Uh, yeah, yeah, Josie knows who Jonathan is. <laughs> yeah, everybody's just like, what the hell is going on here? Are we in the Twilight Zone? What are you doing here? I got in. They assigned me this dorm and told me it was available. Oh, they didn't forget. Um... Jonathan has been staying here. They don't know about it. Uh-huh. I, uh... I thought I saw a restroom back there. I need to use it. Long trip, you know. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Shit. Hey, I'm sorry you had to find out like this. You... You what? I, I tried telling you about her. Yeah, you did. Two minutes ago. And and before that. But I... I yeah, I know. Josie's your girlfriend? Let me explain. I know it's a shock. I'm shocked too, right now. I was going to tell you about her. And also... I think we're close to breaking up. Things haven't been good between us lately. My dad kept me from seeing her, and that didn't do us any good. And lately, she's not been herself either. She doesn't answer my calls, and last time I spoke to her, she said she was giving up and moving far away. She was going to come here, and we were going to be together, just like before. But in secret. That's what we agreed upon. 
But over the summer, we drifted apart. And I... I met you. I... I think I'm gonna throw up or something. Oh, I got a text. Let's check that. Oh, it's, uh... Well, it's gotta be Josie. Please meet me in the bathroom. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Alright. Okay, where are you? I'm in here. Maya is your boyfriend? I never said I had a boyfriend. How crafty of you. Congratulations, you fooled me. I told you I wanted to explain when I got here. You knew I was in a relationship already. What difference does it make if it's with a boy or a girl? The difference it makes is that it's with Maya. How could I have known that you know her or that you were staying with her? What kind of effed up coincidence is that? I must be cursed. Nothing is going my way. You really should have told me everything from the start. That you had a girlfriend and that she went to BNR. It would have changed a lot. That's why we're in this spot right now. I don't go around telling people about her. Do you know how judgmental everyone is about a girl-girl relationship? And don't act like you're perfect. You still made moves on me and even dated me knowing I was in a relationship. Neither of us are perfect. I have flaws. I make mistakes. Is that what I am? A mistake? No, I... I'm not sure what you are. Wow, really? Because it sure as hell didn't sound like this last time. Was that all talk? No, it, it wasn't all talk. Why do you think I called you with the news and not her? What, what are we going to do? We? I know what I'm going to do. I'm leaving. What? I'm not going to stay in that dorm with you and your girlfriend. Please, we can work this out. All we need to do is talk to each other. And say what? That we're all just a bunch of cheaters? What? And besides, you're not the only one who lied to me. Wait. I said wait. What's happening? Goodbye, Maya. N no, wait. Jonathan. They're both looking at each other like, what have we done? Neither one of them knows that the other knows him, I don't think. Like, I don't think Maya knows that Josie knows him the way that she does. And I don't think Josie knows that Maya knows him the way that she does, you know? They all have feelings for each other. It's a huge love triangle. Holy fuck, this is a shitty effing mess. You're telling me. So you got in? Yeah. When? They wrote me this Monday, but I couldn't read my email before this morning. Sure. Like I would believe that. You're just covering up for ghosting me since Saturday. I know we've been fighting a lot, but I haven't ghosted you. My dad and I fought. He took my phone and grabbed me afterwards. Do you have it now? Yeah, I swiped it this morning, packed my bags, and got the hell out. Then why haven't you answered my texts? And reply what? I read your texts. Each one was meaner than the one before. I don't need that after this week. We just fight. Do you think I enjoy that? Do you think I enjoy that? <sighs> what are we going to do? What happened to us? Your dad happened to us. Mm. He can't find out we're sharing a dorm. I know. It's not like I planned for this to happen. He won't show up, right? I don't know. He was here earlier today, and next time it's likely just a phone call. Derek told me my dad asked him to keep an eye out, too. 
He promised to warn me if Dad contacted him. How long are you going to let him control you like this? I have a plan for it. You do? Why haven't you told me about it? I was going to tell you, but I wasn't sure if it would work. And after fighting with you so much, I... I realized the plan would still help me, even if it wasn't for us anymore. Oh no, they're talking about breakup here. They're, they're talking about breakup situation stuff. We can't have this, can we? You seem to think that I don't give a shit about you. Do you? Yeah, I give a pretty big effing diarrhea shit about you. At least I got a laugh out of that. At least I got a laugh out of that. It's an inside joke between these two and Derek before they ever met Jonathan. But the whole diarrhea shit thing. So just so you know why, why, why it's kind of lightened the tension a little bit. I just want to be my old happy self. I can't remember the last time I didn't worry about us and my life. Right now, I'm definitely not happy. I feel the same. Tell me about your plan. It all started when I heard this rumor. Now is it going to go to the rumor? Or is it going to go to... Back to Sage and Jonathan. Here's your mattress. Thanks. I could have helped you get it. Really? I thought you were here because you needed my help. Sorry, I'm dead tired right now. I'm a bit bitchy when I'm tired. We'll continue this in the morning, okay? Sure. Oh, shit. She just smacked that pillow. <laughs> Good night. Smack. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Good night, Sage. Oh, I have no clue what I'm doing right now. Thank you, Sage. I'm glad I have someone like you here. What the sh- Ow! Hey! What was that? Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, she's snoring. She's cutting logs over here. Look at that drool. Oh my god, her tongue's hanging. I just noticed her tongue's hanging out. She's drooling. She must be a heavy sleeper. <laughs> okay, that's pretty damn cute. Fuck. That would have counted as a third slap. Damn it, I didn't catch it. <laughs> eh. I have other problems to worry about. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.